Excel tutorial Ramsey reset test Multiple regression assumptions consist of independent variables correct specification, independent variables no linear dependence, regression correct functional form, residuals no autocorrelation, residuals homoelasticity, and residuals normality. This topic is part of multiple regression analysis with Excel Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't consider any type of forecasting, business, trading, or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Correct functional form consists of evaluating whether regression independent variable's optimal relationship with dependent variable is linear or nonlinear. This is evaluated through Ramsey regression specification error test or reset linearity test, which consists of adding nonlinear transformations of fitted original regression data as independent variables to original regression and assessing if nonlinear transformations of fitted original regression data as independent variables are jointly statistically significant. For full reference, I recommend that you read Ramsey, Test for Specification Errors in Classical Linear Least Squares Regression Analysis, published in the Journal of the Royal Statistical Society series in 1969. As a formula, here we have the example of a regression with two independent or explanatory variables in which the dependent or explained variable is equal to an alpha constant or intercept plus a beta 1 coefficient multiplied by the first independent or explanatory variable plus a beta 2 coefficient multiplied by the second independent or explanatory variable plus the sum from the first to the k number of nonlinear transformations of the corresponding gamma coefficients multiplied by the nonlinear transformations of fitted original regression data plus these regression residuals or forecasting errors. And what we're testing is Ramsey reset gamma coefficients f statistic p value. If Ramsey reset gamma coefficients f statistic p value was less than alpha level of statistical significance, then regression had incorrect functional form with 1 minus alpha level of statistical confidence. On the other hand, if Ramsey reset gamma coefficients f statistic p value was greater than alpha level of statistical significance, then regression had correct functional form with 1 minus alpha level of statistical confidence. Great, so let's go into the Excel file so that we can study correct functional form through Ramsey reset test with greater detail. Perfect, so here we are within Ramsey reset test Excel file. So first we'll begin within the orange colored Ramsey reset test data worksheet. So within it we have the following. Column A we have dates, dates with a monthly frequency, and they're from the beginning of 1997, and if we select A6 and we press Ctrl down arrow on the keyboard, it goes all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 20 years of data. So we press Ctrl up arrow, down arrow to go into the beginning of the column. Then at column B, with a green color background, we have stocks, that's the dependent or explained variable. And it corresponds to SPY ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index. And this data corresponds to SPY ETF investment vehicle adjusted close prices, monthly arithmetic returns. Adjusted close prices because they were adjusted for dividends and splits. And then we have all the independent or explanatory variables, all of them with a red color background. So within the rates area, we have the monthly effective yield of one-year treasuries, 10-year treasuries, high yield. Within the prices area, we have the monthly inflation or deflation of consumer price index, producer price index, then prices monthly arithmetic returns for oil, and last within the macroeconomic area, we have the monthly arithmetic change of industrial production index and PCE or personal consumption expenditures. So to perform Ramsey reset test, we first need to perform the original regression. In this original regression, we have as dependent or explained variable stocks and as independent or explanatory variables, all the ones with a red color background, from one-year treasuries all the way into PC or personal consumption expenditures. To perform this regression, we go within Excel into the Data tab, and specifically within Analyze, Data Analysis Tool Pack, and its regression feature. So, we go now into the orange-colored original regression worksheet, and as we can see here, that regression has already been printed. This regression was done before recording this video tutorial, so the results have been printed and also they have already been formatted. So we have the summary output, regression statistics, ANOVA, and as we scroll down specifically here, we are going to focus on 
that regression coefficients. So these are the coefficients for that original regression in which we have the coefficients for the intercept and all the independent or explanatory variables from one-year treasuries to PC or personal consumption expenditures. And as we can see, they go from B21 all the way into B29. So back into Ramsey Reset Test Data Worksheet, the following step is we are going to calculate the original regression fitted values. So here, the first of this, calculated at L6, and as we can see by selecting that cell and looking at the formula bar, it is equal to original regression B21, that's the coefficient for the constant or intercept. Notice that it's been fixed, and that's done by adding the dollar signs before column and before the row manually, or by pressing F4 on the keyboard. That is done so that we can copy this formula all the way down into this column. Plus, original regression B22, also fixed, that's the coefficient for the one-year treasuries, multiplied by C6, which is the data for one-year treasuries at that corresponding row. Plus, all the way into original regression B29, which is the coefficient for PC or personal consumption expenditures, also being fixed, multiplied by J6, which is the data for PC at that corresponding row and that corresponding date. So notice that all the coefficients have been fixed. So just double checking, we select L7 here and we see within the formula bar, again, original regression B21, that's the constant or intercept, plus original regression B22, that's the coefficient for one-year treasuries, but now it's been multiplied by C7, which is the data for one-year treasuries at that corresponding row. And if we look all the way into original regression B29, which is a coefficient for PC or personal consumption expenditures, multiplied, but in this case, by J7, which is the data for PC or personal consumption expenditures at that corresponding row and that corresponding date. So now that we calculated the original regression fitted values, we are going to calculate the squared original regression fitted values, which is done at column K. So here we select here, for example, K6, and we can see that it's equal to L6 to the power of two, which is L6, the original regression fitted values to the power of two. And if we can, we can copy the formula all the way down by double clicking on the bottom right hand corner square. The reason this fitted squared values of that original regression were calculated at column K is because when you are performing regression within Excel, the independent or explanatory variables need to be in contiguous columns. An important observation here is that for this Ramsey reset test, we added as independent or explanatory variable those original regression square fitted values. And notice very important that this was only included as an educational example. Therefore, it is not fixed and it can be modified according to your needs. So the following step is we are going to perform Ramsey reset test regression. For that regression, we have as a dependent or explained variable against stocks. And as independent or explanatory variables, we have all the original regression independent or explanatory variables with that red color background from one year treasuries all the way into PC or personal consumption expenditures. And we're adding a new independent or explanatory variable, which is those original regression squared fitted values at column K. Again, we perform the regression within the data tab, specifically within the analyze part, data analysis tool pack, and the regression feature. So now we go to the orange colored Ramsey reset test regression worksheet. So here, that regression has already been printed. Again, this regression was done before recording this video tutorial. So the results have been printed and also they have already been formatted. So we have the summary output, regression statistics, ANOVA, and we're going to scroll down here and we can see the coefficients. So we can see that the coefficients for this regression begin with the constant or intercept. Then we have all that original regression, independent or explanatory variables from one year treasuries all the way into PC or personal consumption expenditures. And for this Ramsey reset test regression, we added a new independent or explanatory variable, which is those original regression squared fitted values right over here as that last independent or explanatory variable. So the following step is we are going to calculate this Ramsey reset test F statistic and the associated P value. So we're going to scroll up here and we can see them right here. So we are calculating the F statistic for Ramsey reset test. Notice that it's been here with the title F reset to distinguish it from the one being printed originally by Excel, which is the F statistic for this regression. So we are calculating the F statistic for the Ramsey reset test. 
and also the corresponding p-value. And notice here that we have a title significance f for that reset test, so that we have the same notation as the one being used by Excel, but it's important to distinguish that these two are the f and the significance f or f p-value for Ramsey reset test. So for the calculation of that F statistic, we select cell G16 and we see within the formula bar the following. So it's equal to, we open parenthesis and close it here. So within that parenthesis we have within the numerator, we have original regression C17. So we go into original regression and we see right here at C17 right here, that original regression receives sum of squares. So we go back into Ramsey reset test regression minus C17 from this Ramsey reset test regression. We subtract, as we can see here, the residuals sum of squared from this regression. We close parentheses and we divide that. And within the denominator, we have original regression B17. So we go into original regression and we have original regression B17, which are those residuals degrees of freedom. And we go back here and we subtract B17. So from this Ramsey reset test regression, we subtract B17 right over here, which is this regression residual degrees of freedom. And that result we divided by, and here within parentheses, we have C17, which as we can see, we are now within this Ramsey reset test regression worksheet, C17, which is the residual sum of squared divided by B17, which is the residual degrees of freedom from this Ramsey reset test regression. And last, we're going to calculate the p-value, which is that significance f reset, and we have it at h16. So by selecting h16, we see within the formula bar that we're using the built-in Excel function of f.dist for f distribution dot rt for right tail, and within parentheses we have first g16, which is the f statistic we calculated previously, comma, and for those first degrees of freedom we have b16 which as we can see, we are within this Ramsey reset test regression worksheet. B16 is the regression degrees of freedom minus original regression B16. So we go into original regression worksheet and here B16 is that original regression degrees of freedom. And we go back into the worksheet comma B17, which is that second degrees of freedom, which is B17 right here, which is that residuals degrees of freedom. Perfect. So this corresponding significance F reset is the p-value for that F statistic from Ramsey reset test, and it is the one mentioned within the slides. Excellent. So now that we've finished studying Ramsey reset test, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't consider any type of forecasting, business, trading, or investment advice. Please, pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finished this tutorial. Thank you for watching.